Praise the Lord, church. I will just recognize Prime Minister, Most Honorable Andrew Olness. I see a lot of MPs here. I see MP Mikhail Phillips. I see Mikhail Michael. Okay, so excuse me for going too long into the protocol. But I must recognize our host, MP, Audley Shaw. And I know you feel it, like myself. Peter was our backbone. He was a very resourceful person. And it's not just to liberate Prime Minister. He was to everybody, including comrades. Peter hear that water is shot into a PMP community of Silent Hill and him call me and say, Mr. Stern, the people of a Silent Hill want water. What do I do? I say, all right. He say, I'm going to drop a couple of loads over there. I'm going to talk. That's a strong old PMP. But Peter is gone to go take care of that area. He doesn't look at politics. He looks at people. The love that Peter have for people. And, and for, you know, some of us who, are, who come with full physique in this, world, in this world, sometimes don't use it in a positive way. And he's a blessed soul. He's a blessed angel that came on earth. All of us came here for a purpose. And the persons who use those pur purpose positively, we have to make sure that we emulate them and make sure people don't forget about what they are. Peter was one of those shining examples right up in the hills of Spalings, Christiana, everywhere up here. He served not only Naughty sent on. Because if something wrong don't mind if him call me and complain. If something wrong on the border of sent on him call me and I have a call at MB. He reaches out for the general public. How much of how much of us think that way? Self selflessness. The care. The love. Some of my counselors who serve within the parish of Manchester can remember being in opposition and Peter would do everything possible to use him truck to drop a load of mall without the money. Without the money. And I, I am really touched. Tears come to my eyes because I know he's going to be hard to replace. Some people are just hard to replace. I remember when Audley first appointed him campaign coordinator here. I was working closely with him at era council level. And you know, some thoughts go through my head. And you know, the funny thing is, Peter don't want anybody to know he's a handicap. Because he don't show it. He does everything. And on his feet, he can, as the Prime Minister, eloquently deliver. He cheer rather board over the parish. And he know, and Phillips can tell you, he served not he's just like for him served not, he just about the farmers. The same thing when he serves on the committee, the audit committee of the Southern Regional Health Authority. If he sees something that the money for value is not there, he's going to call me and say, Mr. Stern, we now get value for money for there, so you know. 
We need to talk to Mr. Chin and make sure the region starts spending the money back a little better. When he chairs the finance committee, which he did, it's the same thing. When the money is not coming, because back then the budget was tight for the region, he called me and said, You can't call the Minister of Finance, make him help Mr. Tufton to get the money or whatever the case may be, because he cared that the hospitals in the region were lacking certain things and he wanted them to get it. The bills were not being paid and he had to cleverly work it through to make sure that the nurses are paid, the doctors are paid, and we don't have any strike. Peter was a resourceful person, very resourceful. And I will tell you, we all will miss him, but I know he's resting in peace. I know that we'll meet again, and I know that his heart is very pure. He's a pure heart, and he loves his family. And he, his family is extended here in Northeast and beyond Manchester and Clarendon. Thank you, family. Thank you, his wife and children. Your father was a great man to all of us. Thanks.